I wanted to do this video a little more casual. Last weekend, I spent my time watching a movie. The movie was Beekeeper. Beekeeper 2024. This is a new version of the old Beekeeper series that we all watch. Uh, played by the popular hero, Jason. He plays as the role of one Mr. Adam Clay. What happens is, I personally think uh, that particular portion is not greatly explained, but I think he is a FBI agent or is ex-FBI agent. What happens is he works for someone and that particular person loses close to $2 million of the hard-earned money because of one click she does on a phishing uh, email that she gets. And what happens, obviously like uh, every other uh, spam calls we get, she gets a call and uh, a technical support executive takes the complete confidence of her by doing some attack called the social engineering attack. What actually happens there? The tech support person gets her account detail and all. By mistake, the so-called claim, by mistake, he transfers $500 to her account. And what happens is, she becomes very, uh, as an elder, as a, you know, a pensioner, she becomes very uneasy about the fact that there is a $500 that has got deposited to her account from some unknown random stranger. And he's also started saying like, oh my God, my job will go this, I don't know what will happen, my company is gonna fire me and all that. So having heard all that, she immediately feels very bad about the incident and she wants to help him by sending back the $500 back to his account. But on the process, while doing it, the tech support guy over the phone, right? He says, take the remote or the remote desktop and then do the process so that he can also help her in the process. She also believes that and starts helping him. While she does that, you know, the transaction, as, as we are all aware, banking passwords, there are two types of password. One is a logon password, one is a transaction password. At least in uh, India, you know, RBA has mandated to have both the logon password and transaction password. Logon password is simply used to log into your account and check the details. But you cannot initiate a transaction without the transaction password or OTP. But obviously in US, they don't really believe much on OTP. Right? So there is a need for a transaction password. So what this guy does is he takes a remote of this particular uh, owner's machine. He requests her to send back the $500 to his account. So she also starts doing the process. And on the process, the attacker actually sends a link. She clicks on that and it pops up asking for a password once again on the same banking page. So she thinks it's the right page and she gives away the password. Right? So what actually happens is, immediately in a span of a minute or two, there are three debits that happen from her account, all the way siphoning the $2 million from her account. And she got scammed. And what happens is she ends up uh, dying. She commits suicide and she ends up dying. And the whole movie in the plot revolves around ransomware attacks and how uh, popular and uh, you know sophisticated tech team, support teams do this kind of a so-called online robbery, right? And uh, I personally would suggest if you are someone who is of the age group between 30 to 45, please consider going and talking to your elders or around you, seniors around you, especially pensioners, and tell them not to share their password no matter what. No bank is going to ask your password. No bank is going to ask you to type in a password once again, right? That's one. Number two, if you are within the age group of 50 to 75, you probably are a pensioner, meaning you currently have a lot of access to cash, which you've got as a pension funds from your uh, whole life savings. This is really important to understand. It is important to handle things in a certain way. Do not ever give away your uh, password or anything. So I also start to see a trend where a lot of movies are coming around ransomware attacks, phishing scams and so on. And this is happening for a reason. And let me tell you, being in India, this is becoming one common case, right? Most of the attackers targets people who are weak, right? When I say they're weak, they already know that they have cash, right? And they can be easily exploited. And that is one typical scenario what happened with this particular movie, Beekeeper. You know, it is definitely an action-packed movie. It is almost like uh, on the lines of John Wick. It's that <laughs> heavy on actions. But uh, I was really keen about how ransomwares and uh, suspicious links and these were shown and I really loved it. So in case you all love this kind of movies, I would suggest please do watch them and uh, I'll come back to you with another video.